Okay, first out of the gate is going to be The Fifth Realm, The Ten Realms Books, number five, written by Michael Chatfield. Uh, this is 731 pages, $5.99. It is not available on Kindle Unlimited. Um, it Here's the novel description. After taking and defending Vosgul, Eric and Rugrat have a new task to complete, build a city. They have been racing through the realms at this point, but Vuzgul is a prize they, they can't simply give up on. Alva is mobilized, as are their allies, to build out the new city. It is time that they solidify their gains, working on their crafts, their fighting ability, and cultivation. As they expand their personal power, their gaze turns towards Vermeer, to the dungeon. It's time that they get started to, started to exert the strength they built up. Alva moves in the shadows, but to what effect? The answer lies in the fifth realm. Okay, um, much like the novel description, the review is short and sweet. Um, even though it took me about a month to finish the novel, it was a good read on par with the other novels in the series. And I say it took me about a month because this came out last month, about this time, um, out beginning of August. Um, and I honestly put it down for a little while because the, I was reading the beginning portion of it, and a lot of that beginning section is cleanup um, of like plot lines um, and some administrative stuff where the main characters, Eric and um, Rogat, kind of give up some of their control for their city management stuff and it's necessary because it sets up um the rest of the story and that it's not focused on the two main characters trying to do everything himself including all that administrative work and training of, of like the, the the standing army for alba um instead what that does set up though is um it is is it allows the story to almost focus on multiple secondary characters in addition to the main two characters, giving them their opportunities to tell little stories. Um, and it kind of makes the this really long novel, seven or three hundred pages, um, almost a collection of shorter interconnected short stories. And I think that does credit to it because it's still a very large cast and, and most of Michael Chatfield's stuff um, eventually uh, turns into like really big cast member stuff with like dozens of, of, of secondary characters. Um, and this one is really no different. But in this case, um, what the author kind of does is by letting the two main characters kind of go off and do their own thing sometimes. Um, and he, he's able to turn back and follow some of those secondary characters and give them the, their, their little time frame of the story to do their own thing and follow them on the little short story adventures. Um, and even, and everything in the story is still very interconnected. There's nothing that goes off on its own weird little adventure. Um, everything kind of always ties back together, but I like the way that it, it, it did that. And, and once the novel actually gets into the first conflicts in the story, um, the the entire thing goes by in, 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 in a flash. Uh, but there was a period of time where I, I did put the book down just because of that first beginning section was a little rougher to get through. Uh, but once I got back past it to that first conflict, I was like, okay, this is, this is what I remember. This is what I liked. Um, and it was really enjoyable. And there's a lot of crafting in the novel still. Um, there's uh, phys physical, social, crafting, and economic conflicts in the story that, that were just really nice, along with the expected training and body cultivation and mana cultivation stuff. Um, and there's just a lot of great things here that I've really always enjoyed. Um, and the series, and except the novel, is on par with the things that came before it. Uh, the main characters don't spend a ton of time in the fifth realm, but that's completely understandable because it's not really a conflict realm necessarily, unlike the sixth realm, which is coming up. So... Uh, that's why this is kind of a cool down book in a lot of ways. There's still crafting kind of conflict. Um, there's still dungeon diving in the Alva dungeon. Um, there's conflicts galore uh, in other ways that I thought were interesting and fun. Um, and also just like a little bit different. So good thing there. Um, overall, though, like I said, it's an entertaining story. Um, I don't want to give out too many spoiler details if you haven't read it, but it's been a month, so you, you probably have. Uh, but for me, enjoyable. Uh, it gets a score of 7.6 out of 10. That's the fifth realm, the 10 realms, book number five, with a score of 6.5 out of 10. If you've, if you've already fanned the series, you've probably already picked it up, but if you haven't um, and you've been waiting for a review for some reason, I don't know why you would, um, but it's a good story. It continues on with the good things you probably enjoyed for the series.